Hello, my Scorpios. This is you versus them for the 14th through the 20th. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel, you guys. If you're interested in a personal, the website information is down below the video, okay? Here we go. Let's see what your past issues were with this relationship, my Scorpios. Hmm. I think there was not enough action being taken. There was not... Um, I kind of feel like you thought there was a lack of drive here. It's Gemini energy. Let's see what their past issues were. Okay, we got some something here. Uh, maybe they felt like you know you didn't you weren't working with them. You were working against them here. Hmm. They wanted to build something solid, stable, grounded with you. Maybe they felt like you weren't trying to do the same here. Okay. Let's see what's keeping you guys apart. What's keeping you from them? Hmm. Maybe you have children. Maybe it's um, past memories of this person that's like, you know, keeping you at bay. Like you don't want to deal with it anymore. It's like too much water under the bridge even. Let's see what's keeping them from you. Hmm. They're trying to get what they deserve. They are like only involving themselves in in things and with people who they feel like um, will work with them and not against them. Um, want to have something with them. Somebody that even you know takes action towards them or for them even. Somebody that I feel like will fight for them is what I'm getting here. Okay, they don't feel like you will. Let's see what's currently going on with my Scorpios. Feeling like there's something really bothering you. There's a weight on your shoulders. Um, maybe somebody laid all the blame at your doorstep. I feel like you're carrying a lot of blame here. You're carrying a lot of issues here. A lot of things that were done. Um, a lot of things that were said, just a lot of stuff that you're carrying um, currently here. But you're trying, you're trying to like forget about it. I feel you're trying to forget about it, but you know you keep being faced with these past issues. I feel like okay, it's like at the forefront. Let's see what's currently going on with them. They are holding on not only to their heart, they're, tr they're struggling, um, but they are holding on to this connection as well. They're holding on to um, the same burden basically that you are. Both of you feel burdened. Both of you, I feel like, are still holding on to this relationship though, is the thing. Okay? You may not be speaking, but um, maybe you are. But both of you are like still very much connected. Okay. So let's see what the outside influence is for you. Hmm. Maybe you guys fought a lot. Maybe, you know, you, you're thinking about all the fighting that you did. All the arguing that you did. Um, some of you, you may have even been in like this physical altercation with them at some point. Or, you know, several times or what have you. But, um... I think, too, this is you guys being conflicted over this very strong connection that you feel with this person. Regardless of what you've been through with them, I think you're conflicted because you, you are still very much connected to them. I feel like here, okay? Let's see what their influence is. Mm. They are, they've been enlightened about several things. They are self-aware. Um, they know what makes them happy. What makes them happy is to work with other people that are happy with them. Okay? They don't want to have to feel like they um, are struggling to like make somebody be, um, which, what do you call it? excited about them or want to do things with them want to be around them you know that sort of thing they just want to be happy 
And I feel like that is what they're focused on. But yet still, we still come back to the fact that this person is still holding on to this connection. It's like there's remnants there. Okay? Very much so. Let's see what's coming towards you guys in the near future. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like this is you two coming back together. May not be for all of you, but some of you. Some of you may not even want to get back with this person. But for those of you who do want to get back with somebody, that, um, that opportunity is coming. Okay? I feel like that. Let's see what's coming for them in the near future. Yeah, brand new start. Brand new start. Hmm. Divinely got a connection here, you guys, okay? Very much so. Very much so here. Hmm, I like it. This only if you want to, because again, you know, we have free will. So if, you, if you're if you saying, ah, no, I don't want this person, then guess what? I mean, you won't be with them. But if you are the ones that are open to reuniting, you see us here, okay? And what's coming. Let's see what the blockage is for my Scorpios. Yeah, you guys, you guys needing to leave behind things that are not in your highest good. Um, letting bygones be bygones so you can move forward. Stop thinking about all of the negative things that happened in the past. Okay? Because that's not going to get you anywhere. But staying stuck in those thoughts. Okay? So the blockage is being able to move past the things that have happened to let go of past issues and not dwell on them. Okay? Let's see what the blockage is for them. Hmm. The blockage for the person that um, you are thinking about is the fact that uh, they're not coming forward. Because I feel like if they came forward, which I see that they will here, they will spark up a conversation. They will come near you, towards you, if that's what needs to happen. If they live far from you, if you have changed your phone number, I see that. Because this is actually like having to like travel too. So that offer hasn't been put on the table yet here. So that is what that blockage is for them. Let's see what the advice is for you guys. <laughs> Speak your peace. Okay? If there's something that you need to get off your chest in order to be able to move forward, that's what the advice is. Okay? To be truthful when you speak. But do not be, like, aggressive, okay? It's a need for you to be calm as you do this. As you move through this connection and if you engage with this person, to do so calmly with a level head, but speak your truth, okay? Let's see what the advice is for them. Same thing. Very same thing. They need to be truthful. But they do not need to be aggressive, need to be cutting, Okay. Maybe you guys are the ones that um, their blockage is that you're not offering anything. Because this is a Scorpio card here. Their advice is not to be cutting, not to swing that sword for no reason, <laughs> to listen and to reply in a calm manner but speak truthfully both of you have a truth that needs to be spoken here okay let's see what the outcome is yeah i think you guys will get back together that's judgment right there okay let me move these over i think you will decide that um you know this is what you want and i think you are hearing that call right now i really believe that you're hearing that call. You're feeling it. Let's see what the outcome is for them. Hmm. I think they will be accepting because this is a very supportive person. This is probably somebody that um, that 
loves you regardless. Um, not going to say unconditionally because, you know, a lot of times when we are in love with somebody, we do put conditions on the relationship. If you cheat on me, I'm, you know, deuces, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? But this is somebody that is very supportive, very loving, very committed here. Now, look at this too, because this is the same person. This person embodies everything, I feel. All right? Um, but the Queen of Swords is known as the divorcee, but the Queen of Pentacles is a committed, if not married, person. All right? So that speaks volume. So there is there's a potential marriage here. If not a marriage, a very long, stable, committed um, relationship, you guys. Okay, so that is what I have for my Scorpios, and I will speak with you guys soon. Bye.